Hello and welcome. This video is going to show you how to navigate our course. When you log in, you should see the announcements page. And this is where you're going to be navigating with students about what's due or anything interesting. What I like to do for my students is to have a direction that tells them exactly where to start, which is the Start Here folder. Uh, you'll see this over here in the left-hand navigation bar, and I also have a link here. And you can take announcements and you can pin them on the top. So I recommend for maybe the first two weeks keeping this where to start message on top and then you can um, let it drop off. So let's go to the start here folder. Now this is how I have some design techniques which you might want to consider. I always open with a visual, a meme, something like that, that is stimulating and gives some kind of entry point to what the module is about. Now in each module you'll have the objectives. The objectives which we will be going over further in a future module need to be aligned. So I have my course learning objectives for the overall course and then for each individual module I have more specific learning objectives which I post here so it gives students a heads up on what they're going to be doing in this module and I make sure that it is aligned with my course learning objectives which are in my syllabus. I also provide a to-do list for students. This is um, what you are expected to do in this module. It's a quick kind of check off thing for um, ease of use. And I have mini lessons. Often I'll do screencasts like this one as a mini lesson. In this one, there is no reason to have a voice over, so you can access it right away from the screen and you can navigate it just by mousing over and moving forward. I do have some live links in here so you can click them on and I also have the course syllabus. I put that in a, a separate folder because I like to supply different types of syllabi. I like to provide a visual somewhat more interactive syllabus to students and you can click through things directly. I also provide a text-based syllabus only with no fancy fonts that makes it much more accessible for all different types of students. And so you'll read through that. I also have our course schedule again embedded visually. This is um, a way to introduce different types of tools. This one right now is in SlideShare. So it's up to you if you want to navigate or learn more in depth about different types of tools, but they're being presented to you for your um, perusal. Also, you should definitely make sure that you have a need technical help blurb because in an online course, somebody's going to need technical help. I have all of the assignments in a separate folder, so you can click that on and see what you want to get through for the week. I have a separate folder that has a series of how-to videos which are directly related to the individual module. So whatever we're covering in that module, like we're going to be making a, uh, a post to a discussion board in this module, you will find a how-to video on how to do that. And I also have a bibliography if you want to go in more depth. Now I have at the end, I try to post uh, material that is totally not um, mandatory. It's going to be optional, but it's related to what we we're looking at in the module and it is just uh, some extra kind of information that I like to provide students with if they want to access it or not. So I have that in every module too. And in the first module, I have this that's directing students to what do I do now at the end of the module? So direct them on to the, the next module. Once you start learning how to navigate the course, um, that wouldn't be as much of a necessary thing. So 
that is a brief overview on how we're going to be looking at this course. Your job is to navigate through, start here, and explore, read through the syllabi, um, listening to my welcome message, and figuring out your assignments, etc. Please email me or call me with any questions that you have about this. Thank you.